Our Sun orbits a collection of objects in the very center of our Milky Way galaxy that we call our Galactic Center. Let's start by finding the Galactic Center, which is located in the constellation Sagittarius. Sagittarius is shaped like a teapot. Next, we'll change our view to align with that of the plane of the galaxy, which can be seen as the dark band running horizontally through this image. When we look at the galactic center using an optical or visible light telescope, we cannot see it. Gas and dust get in the way. We can see a bit better through the dust by looking at it with telescopes that see in different wavelengths of light. This image was taken in near infrared wavelengths. This image, taken in the hydrogen alpha line, shows hot gas that is much closer to us than the galactic center. When we view the plane of the galaxy in mid-infrared wavelengths, we see the glow from the heat of warm dust. This is the same dust that obscured our optical view. In X-rays, we see mostly small sources distributed in the plane of the galaxy rather than the more diffuse gas and dust in the previous mid-infrared image. Before zooming in, let's go back to the optical view. In optical images, there's not much of the galactic center to see because of intervening gas and dust. But in radio wavelengths, we can look through that veil to see the true center of our galaxy. This image, taken with the Very Large Array, or VLA, radio telescope in New Mexico, shows the galactic center in long radio waves. Let's look at some of the in interesting types of objects found in the center of our galaxy. When some massive stars die, they leave behind supernova remnant shells. These thin linear structures, or filaments, are probably caused by magnetic fields. This feature is the brightest source of radio waves in the constellation Sagittarius and is given the designation Sagittarius A. Next we will zoom in and look at Sagittarius A in more detail and see that it is made up of interesting sources, including what astronomers think is a supermassive black hole. We can see more details and smaller components in this shorter wavelength VLA radio image of Sagittarius A. Several large stars are being born in these star-forming regions. This shell is called Sagittarius A East and is a remnant of a supernova explosion that occurred long ago. The mini-spiral, called Sagittarius A West, is hot gas surrounding the center of the galaxy. Let's zoom in and look at Sagittarius A West in more detail. At the very center of the galaxy, there is a compact, bright radio source called Sagittarius A star, indicated by the star. This source is likely the location of a supermassive black hole 4 million times the mass of our own sun. We know the mass of the black hole because we can measure how fast stars orbit it. This diagram shows orbits determined from observations using the Keck telescope in Hawaii. Now let's return to the view of the sky that we can see with our own eyes. The galactic center is one of an incredible number of astronomical objects that we can see if we have the right telescope and know where to look.